Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends, in this very, very exciting and powerful video of algebraic challenging equations. In this video, we are going to solve one very interesting quartic equation in three different ways. Method number one, we know that is substitution method. Method number two, also we have solved few problems based on that. That is biquadratic method. And third method, that would be the perfect square method. So let me begin with method number one that is using substitution on a number line if you will take the average of 0 2 4 6 you will get to know 3 will be our substitution so i will write our substitution x plus 3 equal to t once x plus 3 is equal to t then we can write x value so x would be t minus 3 x plus 2 value x plus 2 would be t minus 1 x plus 4 value that would be t plus 1 and x plus 6 value that would be t plus 3. Now I will put all the values in the given equation. So our equation will become t minus 3 times t minus 1 times t plus 1 times t plus 3 equal to 9. Now you can see easily if I will consider the first and last bracket and then second and second last bracket then we can write our equation in terms of difference of two squares. So I will write t minus 3 times t plus 3. Here it is and then I will write t minus 1 times t plus 1 equal to 9. Difference of 2 squares, a square minus b square, a square minus b square also here also equal to 9. Expand this one, t power 4 minus 10 t square plus 9 equal to 9. I can cancel these two, 9. So what I am having now, t power 4 minus 10 t square equal to 0. I will take t square common out. It will be left with t square minus 10 equal to 0. From here we will conclude that t will be 0 or t will be plus minus square root 10. Now what I will do? I will consider, I will put the value of t. t was x plus 3. So let us put t equal to 0. That means x plus 3 equal to 0. Conclusion, x is equal to negative 3 is our answer and it is having multiplicity 2. Why it is? Because of t square. Multiplicity 2. Now second equation which is t is equal to plus minus square root 10. Let's put the value of t. So t is x plus 3 equal to plus minus root 10. Take away 3 from both sides. We will have our two solutions. So I will write minus 3 plus minus square root 10. Here we are having two solutions. So overall we have four solutions. x is equal to minus 3 with multiplicity 2 and x is equal to minus 3 plus minus square root 10. So total four solutions are there. Method number two. Let me write here method two. This method is I will take the product of these two and then I will give substitution. Then I will take the product of these two. Let me write in this manner x x plus 6 x plus 2 x plus 4 equal to 9. Take the product, these two and these two brackets. So I will write x square plus 6x in one bracket. In second bracket, I will write x square plus 6x plus 8 equal to 9. Now you can see easily obvious substitution is there. That is x square plus 6x. We will give some value. Let us consider 
x square plus 6x is equal to y. So I will write y and in bracket y plus 8 equal to 9. Now I will frame one quadratic equation. So y square plus 8y minus 9 equal to 0. Okay. Once you can apply factorization also, you can apply splitting of middle term, you can apply Shridharachar formula. So I can directly write the factors y minus 1, y plus 9 equal to 0. So from here I can write y is equal to 1 and y is equal to minus 9. Now what is y? y is x square plus 6x. So let us frame two quadratic equations. So x square plus 6x equal to 1 and second equation would be let me write this one 6x minus 1 equal to 0. This is our one quadratic which we will solve and second equation would be x square plus 6x equal to minus 9. These two equations we have to solve. Okay, let's solve it. I will consider the first equation x square plus 6x minus 1 equal to 0. Let's apply Shridharachar formula. Minus b minus 6 plus minus square root b square 36 minus 4ac plus 4 over 2. So I can write minus 6 plus minus. It is square root 40, 4 times 10. So I will write 2 root 10 divided by 2. So I can get my answer or solution from here which is absolutely perfectly matching with the previous one. So here we are having two solutions. Now I will consider the second quadratic equation, this one. So I will write x square plus 6x plus 9 equal to 0. It is one perfect square whole square. So I can write it is x plus 3 whole square equal to 0. So I will get x is equal to minus 3 minus 3 you can write or minus 3 solution with multiplicity 2. Method number 2 is done. These two methods which we know already. Now method number 3 that is using perfect square method. So for that method actually I will begin with one general consideration, general form. If x times x plus a, x plus 2a, x plus 3a form quartic equation given to us. Suppose it is equal to b. For example, if this form is there, then we can consider our solution in such a way that I will frame one quadratic or perfect square better is to say. And it will be done only after adding, let me write here, add a power 4 to both sides. This is the clue. Once you will do that, you will be having left hand side as x square plus 3ax plus a power 4. So that would be a square whole square. So let me write in this manner itself equal to b. And plus, because we have added left hand side, I have to add right hand side also. Okay, now one side is whole square and second side is constant term. So you can easily solve. This is the basic behind this perfect square method. Let me solve this problem. So as per our problem, if you will expand this, the left hand side, the original equation left hand side, if I will expand this one, then I will be able to write like this. See, x square plus 2x, the product of two brackets and the second and uh, means third bracket and last bracket. If I will consider, then I will write x square plus 6x plus 4x. So 10x plus 24 equal to 9. My objective is to frame quartic directly take multiplication. So once I will multiply, I will get x power 4 plus 12x cube plus 44x square plus 48x and equal to 9 is there. So let me give some space 
Now I will add a power 4. What is a here? If you will see, a is equal to 2 as per our problem. Now you can see, a, 2a is 4, 3a is 6. So a is 2. So I will apply here, I will put here a power 4. So let me add 16 here and 16 here. See, read this one. Once you will do this, left hand side will become the whole square of this quantity. So I will write x square plus 3ax, a is 2, so 6x plus a square, a is 2, so a square will be 4. Left hand side would be whole square and right hand side is 25. Done. Take a square root both sides. So I will write x square plus 6x plus 4 equal to plus minus 5. Now task is done. So two equations, two quadratic equations I can frame x square plus 6x plus 4 minus plus 5 equal to 0. So this is our quadratic equation. I will bifurcate two different equations. So let me frame both the equations. So I will write x square plus 6x let me write minus 1. If you will consider 4 minus 5, then it will be minus 1 equal to 0. This is my first quadratic equation. And second quadratic equation would be x square plus 6x plus 9 equal to 0. 4 plus 5 is 9. Now two equations and both equations we have solved earlier. Let us apply quadratic formula quickly. Minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac over 2a. So I can write minus 6 plus minus 40. Again I will write the same thing. 2 root 10 over 2. So answer is minus 3 plus minus square root 10. Here we are having two solutions. Now this is perfect square already. x plus 3 whole square. So from here we are having minus 3 and minus 3 minus 3 as a solution with multiplicity 2. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck.